to get kind of rough, so I didn't want my son to hear it. So we just kind of walked into the field house, and uh, we went outside, and uh, head coach came in there, and he motioned me in. I said, what? He said, I want you to come in here. I said, uh-oh, it's going to be bad. He's killed somebody. <laughs> he needs the last rites. You know? I walked in the door. He said, Brother Jason, I want you to pray for me. I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to pray that you won't kill anybody. No, he said, I want you to pray for me because I'm about to address the boys, and I want you to pray that what I say will be pleasing to God when I go in there. And I said, who are you and what have you done with the head coach? <laughs> we had prayer, and I'll never forget what Coach Hogan did. He walked in there. We were down 28 to nothing. We had guys with arms that were falling off. We were, we were the, you ever, you ever, the walking dead? The walking dead? We were the walking dead. <laughs> Walk, he walked in there. And if I'm lying, I'm dying. He looked up and he wrote on the board, 28 to nothing. And he said, hey guys, come here. And they all walked out. He goes, we got him right where we want him. I said, this guy has lost his mind. I am literally sitting here watching a man go crazy. He said, we got him right where we want him. He said, we're not changing a thing. We're not changing anything. And I'm thinking, no, no, no. We need to change 28 points. <laughs> we need to do something a little bit different. He looked at him and said, I love every one of you. He said, win or lose, we're going to do it together. He said, let's go. I looked at him and I said, okay. <laughs> Walked out of the locker room, won the game 35-28, and I'm not kidding. Did it in overtime. Came back and won and beat them. But won. You want to beat them? Beat them. We were, on the, we were out there in the middle of the field, and we were all excited, and I looked at him, and I said, you're crazy. <laughs> he goes, what? I said, that's the worst halftime speech I have ever heard in my life, and I don't know how you did it. <laughs> and this is what he said to me, and I've never forgotten it. He said, you know what? I just wanted them to play our game, be focused on the right thing, and let the outcome be what the outcome is. And he looked at me and said, it couldn't get any worse than 28 to nothing. I said, you want to bet? <laughs> you know what? Here's what I'm going to tell you. It's halftime. We're down 28 to nothing. We got a bunch of people out there in that community that need Jesus Christ. Who's going to take it to them? You know what I'm going to tell you? Keep doing what you're doing. Focus on the Lord. Strap your head gear on. And let's go get them. Let's go get them. But it starts right here in this room. We're not going to take anybody out there until we get unified in here. You hear me? That's what it takes. That's what it takes. What are the results of revival? Well, you go home and read them tonight. Total victory. Only through God. I want you to bow your head with me. I'm going to ask for Kyle to come up and Dave to come up. And I don't know where you are tonight, what situation you're in. Only through Jesus Christ can we have victory. Let me ask you again as I asked you this morning, and I want you to answer it here. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do this again. I don't do it for a show. I'm not trying to get you all emotionally pumped up so that we go out there and fight the devil. But I also believe in accountability. We'll give you an opportunity. Some of you came down this morning. You took me or Brother Kyle by the hand and you said, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. Here's my question tonight. Are you ready for revival? If you're not, that's okay. That's okay. Maybe you need to go home and chew on a little bit. Maybe you need to go home and pray about it. That's fine. But are you ready for revival? Nobody, the person next to you can't answer. The person across the room can't answer. Are you ready for revival? If you're ready, we're going to give you an opportunity. Maybe you're here tonight and you've tried it all. You've tried everything you can to have peace in your life and it's just not working. You've tried the relationship thing. You've tried everything that you possibly can. Let me, let me, let me offer something to you. Let me offer you the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever given your heart to Him? Wholeheartedly. I'm not talking about half-hearted. 
I'm talking about a wholehearted commitment, surrender to Jesus Christ. Have you done that? Let me give you a little, just a little prayer. Maybe you're here tonight and you've never invited Jesus to be Lord of your life. It's as simple as ABC. Admit that you're a sinner, believe that Christ died for you, and confess Him before men. That's all you have to do. I'm going to lead you in a little prayer. Now don't pray this prayer because it's my prayer. I want you to pray your own prayer. But pray something like this. Dear Lord, I know that I'm a sinner. And I know my sin has separated me from you. Dear God, I believe that you sent Jesus Christ to die on that cross as payment for my sin. I ask Him to come into my heart to forgive me of my sin and to be Lord of my life. If you just prayed that something to that effect right there, in just a few moments we're going to sing a hymn of surrender. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you an opportunity. Maybe you just need to come down and take me and Brother Kyle by the hand and say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Whatever decision you need to make tonight, I hope and I pray that you will have the freedom and the strength to do it. Father, in these moments, God, I pray that your will be done. God, I pray that you will touch our hearts as you have tonight, Lord. I pray that you will spur us on. Father, I pray that we will keep our eyes focused on You. And Lord, because of revival, that we can go from these doors and win a lost and dying world to Jesus Christ. Father, give us the strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to ask you to stand.